We've got quorum, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call this uh, June meeting of the Vilas to Lowndes County Zoning Board of Appeals to Order. Everyone in attendance will please make sure and sign in on the attendance sheet at the back of the room. Uh, before we begin, I will explain the process for the meeting. I will call each case on a case by case name and case number. The city or county representing staff will come to the lectern to present the facts of the case. After presentation, the board may or may not ask staff questions. Once the board has heard from the, heard the case and asked all questions necessary of staff, we will move to hearing from either the applicant or the applicant's representation. After hearing from the applicant, we will hear from anyone else who wishes to express support for the case. Finally, we will hear from anyone who wishes to express opposition to the case. Anyone addressing the board will please come to the lectern and give their name and address for the record. For clarity and respect, we ask that only the person at the lectern address the board and that the audience give them an uninterrupted chance to be heard. If there is important information that you feel we need to consider, then please come to the lectern when it is your turn and you are called. In the interest of time, though, the board asks that you keep your comments brief and to the point. Please do not come to the lectern only to restate the same information we have already been given by someone else. Once the board has heard, has had the chance to hear from all sides on the matter and ask any questions we feel are necessary, then we will re render a decision. If we do not feel that the necessary information is available to render a decision today, then we may take, decide to table the case for the next meeting. Please be aware that the board is here today only to address variance applications to the zoning codes for Lowndes County and the city of Alasta. This is the only matter on which this board has been given the power to render a decision. We cannot and do not have the power to address any other matters that are not covered by the zoning codes of Lowndes County or the city of Alasta. All right, we will call the first and only case, um, APP 2021-03, Johnny Ball, 12 Brickwood Place. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This case in front of you is from Mr. Johnny Ball for a property located at 12 Brickwood Place. It is on RP, which is single family residential. It is about a quarter of an acre. The property contains a single family residence. The applicant has gotten permits for an in ground swimming pool as well as a full house. Both meet today's regulations and have been permitted and built within the past year, two years, give or take. So he is currently wanting to build a screen, sunboard screen cover, so to speak, over the pool. Um, it's going to look something like that. Those are ideas of what the applicant is proposing. Unfortunately, what he's proposing makes the uh, pool house in addition. He goes the, from a detached accessory structure to an addition, and the screen in porch enclosure is an addition as well, which has to meet addition setbacks rather than accessory structure building setbacks. So, what the applicant is proposing is to be about 10 feet away from the rear property line. He needs side property line. Um, sideboard setbacks, not a problem later. His challenge is that he is 15 feet too close to the rear property line. Instead of a required 20 feet, he's 10 feet from that particular property line. So that's why the variance is in front of the board, and it's more than we can consider administrative. So raise the number two is in front of the board. The staff did take a look. We realized that there is very minimal to no impact property, this neighbor's property, they may be amenable to adding shrubs, plain things to minimize any, if any issue, you know, noise, anything like that, to the neighbor's property. Um, but unfortunately, our standards are pretty high and we cannot find hardship within the request. So, given that, staff recommends for denial. But if the board is so inclined to approve that we do understand minimal impact on the neighbor's property and there is the possibility that the board may impose conditions on that approval and if, as you see fit, of planting shrubs and anything like that. Any questions? I have one. I just want to make sure I have clarification on the difference between 
an addition and an accessory structure. It's, if it's just flat. So okay, we have, we have setbacks for both accessory structures, accessory buildings, and additions. Accessory structures like a carport, your portable shed, a pool house, something like that. We have size restrictions. We also have setbacks. They can't be any closer than 10 feet away from the side of your property. Okay. In an accessory building, like this pool house, has to be at least 15 feet away from the house. An accessory structure does not have that requirement. Accessory structure is like a a carport, not an enclosed building, whether it's an accessory structure is an enclosed building, like a pool house or a cooker or a shed, something along that, that nature. Now, the regular setbacks apply to such items as this house, and for R10, you're looking at a front yard of 20 feet, and that's with no garage. 30 if there's a garage, 10 on each side, and 25 in the rear. His challenge is the 25 feet in the rear. <coughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm good. Just so I'm clear, <clears throat> and there's an accessory structure and an accessory building? Correct. The accessory okay. structure is the in ground swimming pool. Okay. And it's required to be 10 feet away from the side of the But you said an accessory structure could also be something like a garage, like a carport? An accessory structure is a carport or a swimming pool. An accessory building is fully enclosed with a wood. Okay. So, so, we'll, we'll so let me ask. Just if this property were larger and this pool were sitting away from the house and they put the screen structure over it, would the screen structure itself be considered an accessory structure or an accessory building? That's a really good question, Matt. Um, I would probably count it as an accessory building. Is it fully enclosed? <laughs> but, but the pool meets the, the criteria. I mean, all I'm saying is the accessory structure, it being an accessory structure, does not have the limitation of it having to be 15 feet away from right. our house. And honestly, my interpretation is that was an off the cuff answer. I, I mean, I understand I, it could I, go both ways. I think I could go either way. Okay. All right. So, if it were considered an accessory structure and it had a separate wall between it and the house, it was not actually attached to the house, it could be six inches away from the house. And mm -hmm. feet away from side of the and, and, you would have, and there would be no issues with the property setbacks for this. That's correct. And I'm willing to support that interpretation. Okay. Quick uh, question. It was not completely enclosed would be different. Are we talking about complete if it's not completely enclosed in the patch or this still would be this completely enclosed period. I mean okay. the bank is completely enclosed as the Yes, sir. So would that make a difference if it was not? I would either have to consider it as an accessory structure or an addition, depending on whether it was attached or not. Could you say a garage would be Different because it's not enclosed completely. It's just carport. Car I'm sorry, carport because it's not enclosed completely. Correct. Correct. That's the key. It's not enclosed, and it's a structure rather than a building. Our ordinance defines a building as four walls and a roof. Okay. Okay, I have a question. Um, you had said on the front that if we approved this, um, there was hope that there would be a requirement for some plantings of some sort. <coughs> Well, I'm thinking about 10 feet and what kind of tree can and you plant in 10 feet that's not going to encroach upon the neighbors. And that's something that we kind of talked about in the house. I'm not as knowledgeable about landscaping as maybe I should be. I understand we cannot 10 feet that options would be with that. I mean, you can see some shrubs. Right. But I was not a, I mean, you know, you plant some trees that they might like, but the neighbors don't like, or vice versa, and you've got another real problem that you didn't have to begin with. So, staff would be happy with no trees. I 
I mean, we, we would if that's at the board's discretion. The board's discretion. And in case if anybody did not go look at it, they have a wooden fence Correct. all the way around. I know you Okay. Any other questions of staff? Tracy, is this similar to, and I think I'm repeating it, I just want to get it down to my mind, um, cardboard garage versus open pool, screened in pool. The screened in pool being like a garage, the open pool being like a cardboard. You are correct. It just seems like a lot.